Is it okay? Do you mind if I turn my back on you? It's okay, I'm safe to come and talk to you. Welcome to the University of Rwanda. You should be proud of yourselves. You've done well in your school exams. You've proved to the, to, to the country and to the world that you're good enough to come to the University of Rwanda. And, and I'm delighted to see you. My name is Phil Cotton. I'm Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda. And the Vice Chancellor, these are funny names, but the Vice Chancellor <laughs> is, um, the Vice Chancellor is the CEO of the university. The Vice Chancellor is the boss of the principals, uh, as George said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not wagging my finger, I'm putting my thumb up, so that's okay. But before I became Vice Chancellor, I used to be a college principal. I used to be principal of the College of Medicine and Health Sciences. So I was working within the university and, uh, and then had to uh, change my office one day to become the, the CEO. But I want to tell you, and I, I, want to, I, want to, I want the attention of everybody, and especially the girls here, because today you're witnessing for the first time, a female chancellor of the university, of the, the, the nation. And you know, the chancellor only comes into the university once a year for graduation because it's the chancellor who confers the degrees on people. The chancellor is appointed by the government as the person who will say, I award you your degrees. And so, for the first time in the history of the public university, we have a female chancellor. That is good news for the girls in this institution, as well as good news, as well as good news for the boys, of course. <laughs> so, so, let me tell you, I, I'm a physician, I'm a medical doctor, but I'm also an Anglican pastor, so I, I, uh, I want to share with you some of the things that are important in life. And I hope that as you find your way through university, you will also discover the things that are important in life. That uh, you as teachers, like me as a doctor, are called to do what we do because we want to serve other people. Yeah? Yes. Hallelujah. We want to serve other people. And you will serve people in a way that I could never serve them as a doctor. You will serve people in an important way, which is to take the very youngest people of this country and give them the opportunities to rise up through schools and be the best, you know? And if any of you have heard of uh, um, a, a song recently that's been in the US charts, um, Rise Up, yeah? You know that song? By, uh, what, what's the lady's name, Andrew Day or something? Oh, come on, guys, you must know some modern music. Um, but it's about rising up, it's about rising up, getting up every morning to be the best. Getting up every morning to want the best from the people that you love. And that's what your role is as teachers. To get out of bed every morning wanting the best for the young people that you serve. Because you're here today because you've done well in school. But your job is to go from this place when you graduate, when you meet Patricia Campbell in four years time, is to go from this place and give the young people of this country an even better opportunity than you ever had at school. Because what the young people of this country need is brilliant teachers. And, and, and I, I want you to remember this when you go and, and uh, do teaching practice or, or reflect on 
why you're becoming teachers. And that is that the young people of this country are the most precious, most precious made in Rwanda products that you can ever find. Made in Rwanda products are about chairs and tables and baskets, but you guys are the most precious things that have ever been made in Rwanda. And that's why, that's why we have an interest in serving you. The university is here to serve you, to give you the opportunities to become the best, to become the best teachers that have ever been seen in East Africa. I want to tell you that the University of Rwanda sits within East Africa, within hundreds of universities in East Africa. And there is one international ranking that looks at all of the publications by all of the <coughs> academics in the universities in East Africa. And when it looks at the quality of those publications, it puts the University of Rwanda as number two in East Africa. The university that, the university that you are joining has these academic staff over here who've produced some of the best research work that has ever been seen, which ranks us as number two. And that's good news for you. But universities are only ever as good as the students that study in the universities. So our reputation rests on you. Our reputation is with you. The way you conduct yourselves, the way you learn, the way you teach others, and the way that you pass your exams, and the way you conduct yourselves. But I want to tell you that the University of Rwanda, and those of you with your back to me are allowed to turn round. Turn round and look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I want your attention because I want to tell you that the University of Rwanda does not tolerate any form of corruption in education at all. Yeah? Yes. Nobody gets a degree certificate because they have won favors with anybody. The University of Rwanda takes a very hard line on corruption. If you cheat in your work, you'll be excluded from the university. If the academic staff <coughs> cheat in their work or seek favors for any part of your education, then they too will be exited from the university. The university wants to find some truth in your education. The university is part of the vision of the leadership of this country, and the university has been able to expand itself and progress through the support of President of the Republic, His Excellency Paul Kagame, and we give thanks to him and the leadership in this country for everything that they do in support of this university. I want to leave you with three words. Three words as I go. Three words. And those three <coughs> words are the most important words for any educator to say to their students. The three words are simply, I love you. Because you see, if the educator can say, I love you, then the educator will honor you, will dignify you, and will forever keep your best interests at heart. And these staff here are the people who will honor you, who will dignify you, and will keep your best interests at heart. One moment, just hold there for a moment. Don't talk, don't talk, because I have to deliver an important message here. By the way, guys, I love you. Uh, by the way, guys, I love you too. I don't need to leave you out, but, um, but you guys are precious. But you guys are gonna have to work with us to make your experience at university the best. Yeah? You promise to do that? I want you to promise me something. I want you to promise me that you will be the best. Yeah? Yes. Good. Thank you very much. I'll hold you to that. All right? Yes. Now, <clears throat> the new chancellor of the University of Rwanda, appointed by this government, has been to visit Rwanda many times before she was chancellor, but once since she was chancellor. This is her second visit. And this is only the second group of students that she has ever spoken to. The first group of students were the College of Education students in Nyagatari this morning. As George 
your principal says you're blessed. You know? So I want you, I want you to stand up. Stand up for me. Stand up. And make a lot of noise for the Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, um, Patricia Campbell. A lot of noise. A lot of noise.